Hey guys, welcome to this video. My name is John Watts. So let's talk about bankruptcy. When is bankruptcy a good tool to use? Well, the short answer is when all else fails. There's no other option. So here's what I mean by that. Let's, let's kind of think through this. So let's say that you're just overwhelmed with debt. Well, bankruptcy can certainly help you with that. There's Chapter 7 bankruptcy, wipe out everything. Chapter 13, where you make payments into court. And that can be good. But is there another option? Can you increase the money you're making? I'm not saying that's easy, but maybe you can do that. And then you can sort of get ahead of this. Can you renegotiate with some of your creditors? Will they agree to lower or drop the interest or something of that nature? In other words, have you explored the other options besides bankruptcy? And look, sometimes bankruptcy is legitimately the best possible course of action. We see companies do this. As I'm recording this, I think like three or four days ago, Hertz uh, ended up filing bankruptcy. We're going to see a ton of companies filing bankrupt. Some will never come out of it. Some, though, are saying, look, I just have too much debt and I just need some time to sort of restructure it so then I'll make payments on that debt and I can go back to functioning. And that's what Chapter 13 is. So if you're just overwhelmed with debt, there's no light at the end of the tunnel. In other words, you don't see a big raise coming or you know maybe you're paying let's just say three thousand dollars a month in debt but 800 of that is going away in six months well can you hang on for six months until that 800 goes away now you take that 800 and you put that on the other debt so we've talked about this before sort of the snowball method of getting rid of debt so that's one scenario another scenario is you've been sued Maybe by an original creditor, maybe by a debt collector. And so can bankruptcy take care of that? Absolutely. And all these, as I'm talking about bankruptcy, you have to qualify. Let's sit down with the bankruptcy attorney to get all the details. But it certainly can be an option. But is there another option? Could you fight that lawsuit? Particularly if it's a debt buyer that claims to have bought your debt. Maybe they did. Maybe they didn't. You may can go beat them in court. How about the original creditor? Maybe you can beat them. You know, they, their records may be messed up. They may not be able to prove the amount that you owe. Or can you settle with them? Well, that may be better to settle and take a hit then. And we've talked about before, there may be some tax consequences to settling. But you avoid the bankruptcy. So that's certainly an option. Well, what if you're facing foreclosure on your house? And I'm using Alabama. That's where I practice. So we have non-judicial foreclosures. Your house is just scheduled for foreclosure. If you file bankruptcy, the right type of bankruptcy, you can stop the foreclosure, no doubt about it. Well, that's great. But is there another way? Yeah, maybe you can get loss mitigation. Maybe you qualify under the CARES Act for forbearance. And we've talked about that in recent videos. Or maybe as a video we did a couple years ago, I think we titled it something like the, the secret your mortgage company does not want you to know about. And that is under paragraph usually 22, but somewhere in your mortgage it says you can bring a court action to have a judge decide, are you in default? Is it a proper acceleration? Is it proper to foreclose? So you can file a lawsuit and that may stop the foreclosure. And you may be able to show the mortgage company you really aren't in default or they've done something wrong. Or maybe both sides just agree, well, let's do a modification or something else to work this out. So again, bankruptcy can be there, but I would use that as the last option. I would try everything else first. Well, just one more example. What if you have a bunch of back taxes? You know, we'll just talk about the IRS. So you owe the IRS, you know, $50,000, $100,000. Well, can bankruptcy help? Well, it can, okay? There's certain types of taxes that depending on the age, you may be able to get rid of those in bankruptcy. But I will tell you this, a lot of taxes you cannot. And by filing bankruptcy, you extend the statute of limitations that the IRS has to collect on you. Okay, And not just the time period of the bankruptcy, but then there's additional time period added on to that. Because basically, when you file bankruptcy, all collection activity stops from the IRS. So. If they can't collect during this three months, six months, three years, whatever it is of bankruptcy, then it makes sense that that would add on to their time period plus some additional time to then collect on you later. So again, you have to be careful. And the reason people often will say, well, I'm just going to bankrupt on my taxes is they say, look, I don't have any extra income 
and I don't have anything I can sell. So I'll just bankrupt. Well, here's the, the thing I want you to think about. The way that the IRS determines whether to accept an offer and compromise, and we've talked about those before, or an installment agreement, I think we have a video on that, is they look at what's your available income and what assets do you have? Well, if your income has gone down, maybe because of COVID-19 or some other reason, your income's gone down, well, then they can't expect you to pay anything if your income has gone down too low. Well, what if you know, your house has dropped in value or you maybe had some uh, investment accounts and they've dropped in value? Well, the IRS may then say, okay, you have less now to work with, so we'll expect less from you. So my point in all this is not to say never file bankruptcy. I would not say that. I would say use bankruptcy strategically. Use it as a last resort when everything else fails. And then you can know, you know what? I tried everything else and I feel comfortable and confident filing bankruptcy. But before you do that, check out those other options. So if you're overwhelmed with debt, say, what else can I do? If you've been sued, well, maybe you can settle debt. Maybe you can fight the lawsuit. Facing foreclosure, can you get a CARES Act forbearance? Can you get loss mitigation? Can you sue your mortgage company? And for back taxes, can you do an offer and compromise? Can you do an installment agreement? Can you do a currently not collectible? All different options. So my point is, check out those options, whatever your situation is, and use bankruptcy not as the first resort, but the last resort. And because when it needs to be used, it's incredibly effective. Just understand the cost involved and don't use it when there's a, a less severe way of doing it. It's kind of like this. If, if I said, you know, I've had this uh, back injury and the doctor says we can do this major back surgery and put, you know, all sorts of gizmos in your back or you can go to physical therapy. It may not work, but you know, two, three months of physical therapy, you may can avoid surgery. Well, you know, I'm going to try physical therapy before I start having people cut on me. Same thing with bankruptcy. So hope that that's helpful to you. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to subscribe and share our videos and check out other videos we have. And I will look forward to talking to you soon. Okay, bye-bye.